I do think I'm winning the political fight. I think I'm winning it by a lot. I think that they are not espousing the views of our country, the four congresswomen. Uh, I think that they've said horrible things that the press doesn't cover. But is he right? Is he winning the fight? Joining the debate tonight is liberal commentator Roosevelt Mitchell and political strategist and former Missouri State Senator John Loudon. Thank you so much for joining us both, gentlemen. Uh, let's go right for the jugular. Is he winning the fight? And if so, why? John, start with you. He's absolutely winning the fight, and it starts with, the, with what he's produced. By every measure, uh, things are awesome in America, from uh, unemployment at all-time lows, minority unemployment at all-time all lows, minority home ownership, all-time highs, uh, wages increasing. By every measure, he's performing awesomely as president. And so when, when people make hits at him like this and say, oh, well, he's just a racist, I think it just falls short. People are far more worried about what he does uh, than his tweets. Roosevelt, uh, your opinion, your thoughts here. Is he winning? Are things that awesome in America? Well, with him being the leader of the free world, uh, he's supposed to uphold this idea of our country's motto, e pluribus unum, out of many one, not chasing people off, especially those who are serving elected officials inside the government. Now, uh, he has some wins. He has some wins, but the way that he... He uh, divides the country and, you know, and speaks to uh, particular sectors of his base is divisive. It's very divisive. So, uh, you know, even in this last this last political uh, stunt, if you will, you know, he went after these four these four senators only after, um, you know, they got into it with their own party. So, you know, I think everything he does is calculated, but it it caters to his base and it adds division. And in fact, he went after those four congresswomen once again tonight in North Carolina. He called them left-wing extremists and left-wing ideologues. And, and that leads us to this. Tonight, because fresh off the heels uh, of a victory of sorts in the House of Representatives today, that vote to kill an impeachment push, the president, he was raring to go. And this was the rally that I was just talking about in North Carolina. And in some ways, it was the greatest hits of sorts. The president hammering the same four freshman congresswomen, including Ilhan Omar. And this is how the crowd responded. President soaking it in right there. Uh, their crowd chanting, send her back. So first, uh, Roosevelt, I'll start with you. Your reaction to the spectacle. Again, division. You know, he, you know, he's great. He's great at the political uh, rhetoric in order to be divisive and to cater to certain uh, sections of his base. See, he doesn't have to get up there and say those things. He has, you know, uh, some of his base to say it. And not all of his base is like that, but he knows how to speak to every section of his base in order to... Uh, for them to follow whatever he's saying. So him going after, again, him going after these four women and just mentioning their, uh, their name, this is a, a large reaction that he got, which is, again, is divisive. John, if, if tonight's reaction is any indication whatsoever, it certainly seems like he's winning here, at least with the party base. So is this now a campaign strategy for him? Is it less about going after the 2020 contenders and more about vilifying the squad? I think it's about keeping focus on, on the prosperity and how great things are. And when you've got four people that uh, make a living, make political careers out of attacking people and, and the status quo and saying how bad things are, I think it was just a natural thing. You know, we've all had that girlfriend or boyfriend who's complained about who they're dating and they're always complaining. You look at them at some point and say, well, if it's that bad, why don't you leave? Uh, it's a re rhetorical trick to uh, call people's bluff. America is awesome, and the president wants to keep focus on the progress. And when you have ne'er-do-wells that just complain all the time and really are dangerous in what they're proposing, um, I think they make a good foil for the president. I think he's taking full advantage of something that uh, these extremists, who are extremists by any measure, I mean, the anti-Semitism out of all four of them is just staggering. So I think it's great to keep the focus on them and, uh, and, and show the contrast of how great the country's doing. Roosevelt, how worried should the, the Democratic Party, I'm sorry, please respond first. 
Oh, I was just about to say, I don't care what company or uh, you go inside, if you get um, a white CEO who walks in and four black or brown women state that they are having issues and he tells them, go back where you come from, I mean, it's going to be, media there is going to be a lawsuit because those are racist statements within itself. When you tell those people that and no one else. And I undoubtedly believe that President Trump uses as a political strategy to take the attention off the candidates, but to put it on these four freshmen um, representatives in the Democratic Party and try to make them the face because you know he easily can get reelected if they are the face of the Democratic Party and not any one of the candidates. So yes, I think this has turned into um, a great political strategy on his behalf, and I think that's why Pelosi want to kill the whole ordeal and stop all of the attention going on them and get back to the candidates. Uh, and actually, I'm glad you brought that up. Uh, do you think that today's failed impeachment push in the House of Representatives, was that as much of a win for Nancy Pelosi as it was for the president? Uh, John? Uh, you know, that's a good question. Nancy Pelosi has a struggle, no doubt about it. And, and we are, it, it is interesting as a Republican to see the chinks in the, in the uh, left-wing alliance uh, really showing its, yeah. uh, you know, being exposed. Right. And so I think Nancy Pelosi, I, I guess you could call it a win that, that it didn't happen, but it, it's a Pyrrhic victory. Yeah. She still has this crazy fringe trying to create, uh, um, distract from uh, doing the work the nation needs to be done and talking right. about impeachment all day long. She doesn't like it at all. John and Roosevelt, thank you so much for being here. Appreciate your time.